begin right now with the deadly start to the flu season. The State Department of Public Health is reporting two flu-related deaths already this season, and one of them sadly was a baby. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Sinney. And I'm Stephanie Simone. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina is live in the studio with how to protect yourself and others this flu season. Hector. Well, the state's health department says the two who died were a person in their 90s and a baby less than a year old. Tonight, health experts recommend that everyone six months and older gets their flu shot. Walking into the grocery store with his baby in a stroller, Teddy Kenny was surprised to hear that someone the same age as his child was killed by the flu in Connecticut. It's just very shocking and sad to hear. The state health department is reporting the first two flu deaths of the season. A person in their 90s died in September and an infant died just this month. After hearing that, Kenny says it's even more important to make sure his child is vaccinated. You know, we just got um, my child vaccinated for RSV and definitely going to be getting the flu shot. While tragic, Dr. Paul Anthony, the assistant director of infectious diseases at Hartford Hospital, says flu deaths aren't uncommon. Even before COVID, this flu and pneumonia was one of the biggest reasons where Americans were dying and it still is. Dr. Anthony says babies, the elderly, and pregnant women are at highest risk for getting the flu. In addition to getting the flu shot, Dr. Anthony recommends these safety tips to protect yourself and others. Cover your cough if you're sick. Uh, wear a mask when possible, especially if you're, doing, if you're indoors with other people because that will help protect you. Wash your hands. Try to avoid touching your face. The State Department of Health says there have already been more than 200 cases of the flu so far this season. The typical flu season usually ends in February or March. However, Dr. Anthony adds that the flu season has grown much longer in recent years. Even before COVID, it was starting to get into April, May, and now we tend to see it like, you know, it keeps going. And it's important to protect yourself, to protect others, and, you know, no one likes getting sick. No one likes to be the reason that someone else gets sick. Now, it's important to note that the Department of Health hasn't revealed where the two patients lived. Meanwhile, the CDC says your flu shot usually takes about two weeks to provide protection from the virus. In studio, Hector Molina, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.